You know what really grinds my gears, Spike? <laughs> I'm That's dying. always a, that's what? a good way to begin a segment. Sure is, right? man. You know what really grinds my gears? It's if you know that when someone says that they, it's like a Andy Rooney. You know, mm. they have everything planned out what they're gonna say. <laughs> sure. Yeah. When yeah. I buy a bag of potato chips, I expect a full <laughs> bag of potato chips. You ever but notice that? Do you ever notice that there's only a third of the bag? Yeah, I mean, is two actually, thirds of a bag of air. It's all the rest of it is just air. <laughs> you know what really grinds my gears about daylight savings time? Like what? <laughs> Andy Rooney was so great at that, but he would always use that kind of like, oh, yeah. You know what gets under my skin? Skittles. <laughs> Every color of the rainbow is not in Skittles. But you know what really gets under my skin is to see what government prioritizes over other issues, mm, right? Okay. So I'm talking about policy. I'm not talking about the used car salesmen that we have who run around, we need this and we need this. I'm talking about actual policy that gets okay. written into law. We have right now in this country people who are starving. Mm -hmm. We have very high rates of child poverty in the United States. Sure do. You have water issues. You have infrastructure issues. Yeah, yeah. You've got border issues, which are being held up by the GOP for some strange and odd reason. You've got fentanyl scanners, which are sitting unused at ports of entry, That's so much so that Senator Ossoff from Georgia had to come out and request funding for those. You know what I mean? So there's a lot of, a lot of things that could be solved. But thankfully, our political betters decided – that TikTok, top top of the list, is what we got to deal with right now. We got to deal with our uh, uh, donation machine competitors, <laughs> okay. right? We got to okay. deal the people who are stealing money from the people who steal money from their users and then give it to us. We got to we got to eliminate the competition. <laughs> That's the most important thing we need to do. Not deal with child hunger. Forget about that issue. Am I right or am I right? I don't hear a lot of legislation about child hunger because TikTok. Has is Chinese spyware and it's super important. Now I heard a take on this from the most unlikely of sources. Oh, someone that I have long despised, and yet what I realized is that oftentimes the people who are your your enemy at your very core, mm -hmm. someone that you would fight like in Xena Warrior Princess when they took the ambrosia and then they <laughs> fell into the lava so they couldn't be burned to death and they just continued to fight in the lava. Sure. That that's, is, a, that's a level of commitment. That's you don't a see. level of commitment and rage that I have towards this person, but they were totally right about this particular issue. James Charles is a weirdo on the internet who does makeup tutorials and uh, <laughs> is maybe one of the most popular makeup. Jacob, you know this because you wear a lot of foundation. <laughs> no, he right? wears exactly the correct amount of foundation. Thanks. <laughs> that's right. Right. Which, this I video. Learned, which I learned from James Charles. Um, he, he's... It's funny that you describe him that way because he's done a lot more since then, I think. Or at some point, is he an influencer? Is yeah, that, exactly. I, is that, I have no a, idea. He's who an this influencer, is. kind of a gay icon in a okay. lot of ways. Yeah, that's what I'd say. Uh, or a kind of a queer icon in so many ways has done a lot for people in terms of the self esteem movement and mm -hmm. trying to help people feel better about themselves. Well, nothing wrong with that. Yeah. And so, but he, this clip of of James Charles is so amazing because even somebody who is in my this person if you would ask me a year ago i would have said this person is a simpleton they've got great business acumen okay. but they have no deep conception of politics or philosophy or government this is so unbelievably based coming from this internet weirdo really that i have completely changed my opinion about james charles can we play this really quick it's the dumbest that i ever heard makes me so mad beyond belief we are starving people are dying people are in jail for marijuana charges we're in a war that we should not be in, in the first place and tiktok is our most pressing concern i don't think so it's also infuriating and a test to our political system that that bill got introduced what five minutes ago and it was passed this morning and i was already going to the senate whereas there's already all sorts of bills that take weeks months years and never get anything done to them I don't think so. It goes to show if somebody wants something done, it can be done, but we love to dilly dally and make it not happen. So I'm over it. It's stupid. And it really goes to show that with this election year, you need to get out and vote and do something. That is the most based take anybody could ever give on the TikTok ban from that lady. That is an amazing, <laughs> that is an I, amazing. I, well, I, I was curious how to frame it. Is it still, can, do I still? Him? Do I still say James? Is James non-binary now? I, I, I want to be. I want to be. I want to be respectful. They, how about they? We'll go they. We'll play it safe. We'll play it on the middle of the fairway. Uh, yeah, but Jacob's doing the research because I don't want to be. If I don't have to be woke, I don't want to be woke. Their brows were perfect. Their brows were uh, perfect. You know, and anybody Little... who can put that kind of symmetry into an artificial brow, I'm going to trust <laughs> their judgment. They've got a steady hand and a good eye. Right. 
He, him, according to his okay. Uh, he, him, okay, See, cool. Okay. We yeah, we, 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 we don't have to be him. woke, so now we can be as rude as we possibly want to be. But that is this is what I'm saying is that people intuitively know, and tell me what you think about this, Mike. People intuitively know when something is amiss. There's an innate mm. sense of it. If you are above 70 IQ, there's an innate sense of when something is amiss. And I think that James Charles keyed right into it, that this is a huge joke. Uh, you know, because uh, I differ in the importance of the TikTok issue with James, but the uh, the salient point of his entire clip there was that when they want to do something, clearly they can. There is no barrier Base. to government function, right? Except that they don't want it. They they want the issue, or they you know they got too many people contributing to their campaign that benefit from this. So I can't I can't possibly come out of, against asbestos baby bottles. They're my <laughs> biggest donors, <laughs> you know. So for James to say, look, even through the makeup and the and the and the blush, <laughs> right, the rouge, whatever, whatever, whatever he's he's looked lovely by the way. Right, even he can see anybody can see with half, above seventy points of IQ. Yeah, can say if they want to do it, they could get it done tomorrow. It took hey, them two listen, days to get TikTok to the floor. I don't want to come out against kitten blenders because they serve an important function in our society. And I think if we're going to outlaw kitten blenders, we're going after the wrong. You know what I'm saying? I'm with you. A nation overrun with kittens? What do we do then? <laughs> How do we work on infrastructure with kittens listen, everywhere? Listen, you guys, like, obviously we need to do something about the border. That's a, a huge issue. But, you know, what's much more important to me is this, like, random app that a bunch of Zoomers... You know, you guys hear about the, the conspiracy about this in, in Zoomer media really quick? Did you guys hear about this? No. Is that Z Zoomers believe... Or the, the conspiracy is, is that because uh, TikTok users are largely... 1824 under and that's the the most prized voting block and a lot of people get their political news through tiktok that by eliminating that you are eliminating a certain amount of information that will trickle down to zoomers now that's stupid wow. because zoomers are literally glued to this thing so everything that they do you know what i mean you can't do anything without this thing popping up four out of ten uh, of that of that age group those zoomers or not yeah they they get their news from TikTok. Exactly. Their news. Exactly. It's one thing to get makeup tips. Nothing to get cool dance moves. Right. You know, kittens chasing other things through the forest. Fine. Love it. News? Should, we, should we send Ukrainian weapons? How's their dance moves? <laughs> Let's base it on that. So uh, to wrap all this up, I think that James Charles, very based indeed. A brilliant take. And I think that was a great take. And I'm glad to give credit where credit is due for someone who's sticking up. For the working man, a man in makeup. <laughs> Not overalls, but foundation.